Any folders you have in Angel marked as do not allow users to view this item will be marked as published in Desire to Learn, meaning the students can view the folder. Anything within the folder marked do not allow users to view this item in, the, in Angel will be marked as draft in Desire to Learn, meaning that students can, do not have access to those items. You'll need to mark any hidden folders as draft to keep them hidden from the student. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to go to my Angel course and go on the Lessons tab. And so before this course was migrated, you'll notice that this folder, Test Banks uh, for Volumes, if I go to the settings on that folder and go to the Access tab, go to the Access tab, you'll notice that it's set to Do Not Allow Users to View This Item. That means that this item is hidden and all of the items underneath of it are hidden. So what happens when it comes across in Desire to Learn? To get to the content, you would click on the content drop down, click content. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I'm on the table of contents. I'm going to try to find, there it is, Test Bank Volume 1. Now, notice that each of the items within the uh, module, these topics, are all set to draft. When that's set to draft, that means that those items um, cannot be seen by the student. But because the module itself, even though in Angel it's set to do not allow students to view the item, does not come in as draft, the students can see this. So I can show you, for example, if I click up here and go to view as a student, this takes me into the student view, and you can see that the student sees that module. If the student clicks on that module, it says there's nothing in there. So all of the topics within it are considered hidden because they are set to draft. So what we need to do is make sure that any folders or any, sorry, any modules that you don't want the students to see um, are set to draft. So I'm going to go back to the content browser and that'll take me into the content tool. What I'm going to do here is instead of having to go to each of these individually, these modules individually, I'm going to go ahead and click on the bulk edit. Now, it may take a minute depending on how many uh, modules I have, but once I have bulk edit, you'll notice you have a published or you can choose draft next to each one. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, and it may take a little bit because this is going to be every single topic within this. And I'm going to try to find that test one, there it is. And you'll notice that the individual topics are set to draft, but the particular module is set to publish. So all I need to do is change this to draft and go back up to the top and click on done editing. And now that item would be set to draft and you can see that in the table of contents because it says draft and draft means that it's hidden from the student's view.